Let me on uh, Chris. Uh, uh, you're working on a hot deal, aren't you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Tell everybody you caught me running, uh, jogging. What was that? Thursday or Friday, right? Yeah, I want to say maybe Friday evening. Yeah, a little technological interest. This is my Apple Watch Four. I don't even take my phone with me anymore. I take uh, I take my little watch here, and uh, I'm in the middle of the woods here, way way uh, ten thousand feet above sea level, and uh, right through my earbuds here. Guess who gets hold of me? Everyone. Mr. Cash Mr. Offer here, and Chris, tell you want to share that deal with everybody? Is it all right? Yeah, sure. Um, this guy had a killer deal, and uh, I think we're talking about freedom a lot today. I think you're going to find some freedom in 2019 with this deal. Um, hey, I wanted, I wanted to say one thing. I didn't mean to cut, cut you off there. I'm going to yeah. sign out of here, Claude, but um, I know you were asking me about my setup. Uh, there's a book that I'll post in here. I can't think of what it's called, uh, along with some questions that I use if anyone wants to do VAs. Would love um, it. But, but I'll post that. I just want to let you know I was going to sign off and post that in there. So. If you could put it in the chat box there. Yeah, I will. Or email will. it to me and I'll, I'll send it I'll, in, or put it in Skype. Yeah, I'll put it in the group Skype. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Thanks. You guys have a good day. When are you coming back out to, when are you coming out to Colorado? In January. I'm not sure when yet. Okay, let me know. We'll, I'll take you skiing on the black runs. Sounds Those good. I'll just bust my ass the whole time, but that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Back, back to you, Chris. All right. Absolutely. Uh, hey, family, Gus family. Um, Gus family, I, posted, I like that. Yeah, I, I posted the um, deal inside of the group so everybody can look at it. You click on the link, you'll be able to see pictures, details, a summary of the property. Uh, but in short, man, um, using Guts, I picked up a property, a uh, fourplex in, in one of the hottest areas of Dallas. Uh, it's an area called the Bishop Arch District. The city of Dallas is planning to put, you know, uh, X amount of money into this area to to uh, bring life and entertainment and, and tourists back to this area. And uh, man, I got a sweet deal. I picked it up uh, for 185. It's a fourplex and it's worth about 500,000. So, Good whoa, job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I wanna, let's hear that one more time, man. That was too, that was too good. Absolutely. <laughs> you got it. It's worth how much? And you got it under contract for how much? And how much are you going to make? I want to hear this again. So I got it under contract. It's worth 500000 easily. Uh, I picked it up under contract for one eighty five, dollars um, And right now I have it at a wholesale price of three oh eight. How do you sleep at night? How did you get a deal that's um, that's three hundred thousand under market? That's impossible. Man, Claude, I really don't. I was on just using guts, just hammering out calls. I got a guy on the phone who said, "I said, uh, what, whatever happened to that property, sir? You that's probably sold already, isn't it?" He was like, uh, "No, it's not sold. You give me two hundred thousand for it, I, I I'll, I'll sell it." I said, "So, sir, suppose I say yes to your two hundred thousand. Can we do business today?" He said, I don't understand your question. I said, sir, if I say yes, I'm going to give you the 200000 Can me and you do a contract today? He said, yeah, we can do that. I said, sir, I'd like to see the inside of the property. Uh, I would like to meet you to later today. <coughs> and then I used the guts, and I got out there. And all he wanted was 200000 He's a tired landlord, owned it for 30 years. And well, he has what he calls sustainable tenants. They don't pay on time, but they do pay and they just sustain his property. And so he was ready to let it go. The last vacancy just had him, uh, you know, prepared to let the property go. And I was there at the right time. And I said the right words to the guy and uh, got it under contract. And, uh, and, and right now I got several buyers lined up to purchase it at 308. So, uh, you know, I, I think I'll have a really great Christmas and New Year's. So you've got so um, the deal that you're doing. So you got it. At, you have it at one eighty five. You're gonna sell it for three three oh eight. That means you're gonna. Uh, that's a hundred and fifty. Uh, excuse me. How much is that? Wait a second. That's like uh, roughly about a hundred and twenty five thousand, something like that. Yeah. No, it's. It is. Okay. Um, on that. And what made you, um, so you just want to turn it over quickly. The people, you, how did you market this? How did you, you wanted a cash buyer, right? You wanted to do what we call an arbitrage deal. 
absolutely. A quick turnover. Some people call it wholesaling. I call it arbitrage. You just want to sell it. How did you attract these buyers? Or were they in your mail, uh, in your phone list? Or Yes. Yeah, so a lot of them were already in my phone list. I do wholesale houses in Dallas. So I have a extensive list of buyers who want properties like this. Uh, but I reached out a few other investors in my area. You know, I look at them as, you know, partners uh, and I let them know what type of deal I had who, who may have a, a bigger list than me. And um, I work with them regularly and they brought buyers. So it's almost a, a, a type of a bidding war um, that I've created with this, this property. So do you have a, do you have a firm contract already from one person or are you still, um, no, you not still, yet. um, Basically, uh, the viewing will be on uh, Wednesday. We have to give a 24-hour notice to the tenants. There's three tenants that are occupying the property. Uh, so on Wednesday, but I, I already have a firm commitment. I, you know, I use guts. Hey, I got this deal. You ready to you ready to rake a lot of money today? Uh, they said yes, um, and I told them about the deal. I said if the numbers work out, if you can agree, if you if everything checks out to how you wanted to see when you walk that property can we do a? you bring the earnest money we do a contract today uh, right then and, and I, I have firm commitments with guys who uh said yes if they see the property and it looks up to their what they would like and uh, then they'll put up the earnest money so you got a contract they're checking the property did you put together a prospectus something you could send them pictures comps condition of the property uh evaluation things like that Absolutely. I, I actually put the uh, prospectus in the group, in the Guts uh, Coffee with Claude group. Oh, so okay. It's, it's just a link. You click the link and it'll bring up a one-page perspective. It has pictures. It has a summary of the property. It has uh, the tax information, uh, comps, uh, rental comps. It has just about everything you'll need to make a decision. So I'm I'm done. So what's your close? When do you think you're? Uh, when do you estimate you're going to be closing on this? My close date with the guy is January the twenty first, but um, I'm pushing all my buyers to close on uh, January the sixth. Are you asking for cash up front as a earnest money or or some kind of commitment up front, non refundable, anything like that? Yes, yeah, seven thousand non refundable. Of okay, sounds a little uh, sounds a little low for a big deal like this. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah. That's maybe like that's just me. I'm just greedier than you. I would have said at least twenty five thousand up front. Okay. Okay. On a, I mean, for that funding, uh, but I'll double close the deal to you know just keep everybody's emotions safe. Okay. What did Mrs. Cash offer say when you told her about this deal? <laughs> She was there with me. She actually went to the appointment with me, and uh, she's my uh, partner in crime. She, I, I seem to think every time she's there, I get the contract. She's your lucky charm, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for my wife, Claudia, I'd be cleaning a slurpy <laughs> machine somewhere right now. I, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Behind yeah. every successful man is usually a smarter, more exhausted woman. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we wanted to keep it and live in it and maybe cash flow the other units. Uh, but, you know, after talks with you and other people who I value their opinion, I think uh, getting the cash, being cash rich uh, and moving into 2019 is probably the best decision. One last question, and then I'll let you go to the group here and we'll give you a, a hearty round of applause because I love success stories. Um, how the, the theme of today is freedom. How is this? What? How is this going to give you freedom in 2019? What is this going to do to change your life? Uh, man, it's going to do a ton. It's going to, um, for one, it's going to give me uh, the ability to take on bigger risks and, and bigger investments to increase what we talked about last week, which my goal of 2019 was to become financially free, get a few more owner finance deals. Uh, to where I can have more passive income. Uh, with the cash from this deal, I'd be able to take on more deals uh, and, and make you know smarter investments that could get me to being financially free. Having my you be debt free. Yeah, to have my my uh, passive income pay for all my debts, my uh, uh, all of my expenses. Yeah, take the money, get rid of all consumer high interest debt, save, 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 save some for a rainy day, you know, for emergencies, for, I, I'm, one of the things I'm going to talk about 
uh, uh, for New Year's for 2019 is I think we need to save up a little capital because there might be an adjustment going into 2019. And, um, you know, if, if, if prices come down or the market gets a little slow, aren't you going to be the, uh, don't you want to have the resources to pick up great deals for the future? Absolutely. Let's give this young man a round of applause here. I mean, I love, this is the stuff. This is the, these are real deals. This is the stuff that motivates. Anybody have a question for Chris before we move on? Chris. 